What is up everybody? It is Wick here, getting ready to go out for the morning. Hit some thrift stores, but first I'm shipping out what's sold within the last 24 hours. First item I got here is this hat I picked up at a thrift store. Only paid a quarter for it, and I sold it for $18.95. Next I sold this Whoville Opoly game. I picked this up at a yard sale, brand new sealed. I paid $6 for it. Sold it for $59.99 plus shipping for some good profit. If you're not familiar, when I say plus shipping, that means the buyer paid shipping. Stuff like this, I always do calculated shipping. So I picked up this Nintendo DS microphone. I actually picked up about 12 of these years ago at a Walmart. The price went way, way down and I just couldn't make any real money on them. So I was waiting. And I found them in the death pile and I said, you know what? Let's just sell these, get my money back. So you see I paid $2 for them. I sold this for $9.99 free shipping. So in the end, you know, I'm going to get my $2 back and make probably a couple dollars. And I will be removing the price tag. I get asked a lot about price tags if I remove them and how. So I'm going to mention it as much as possible so people know. Scotty Peeler, hair dryer. I don't have the hair dryer with me right now, but use a hair dryer. It'll heat it up. Take the Scotty Peeler, go right under there. It'll peel it right out. Use some goo gone to get rid of the excess goo on a paper towel, and it's good to go. Paid a quarter for this pit game at a church rummage sale, and I sold it for $20. Here's a TI-86 calculator, which I think I got more than I probably should for. I, th I think I meant to do free shipping on this. Uh, TI-86 calculators don't sell as well as the 83s. Uh, but I got $20 plus shipping on it, so you know what? I'm happy about that. I don't remember where I got it. Probably a yard sale for like a dollar or less. I remember picking this up at Goodwill. I don't remember what I paid for it. It's some sort of drone i think i paid three or four dollars probably for it but i sold it for 24.99 plus shipping so i picked up this glove i don't remember where i picked up so many gloves this past year sold a bunch of them so it's hard to keep track in my mind but it probably came from a yard sale or a rummage sale something like that uh but i sold it for 40 dollars plus shipping for a total of 57 dollars and 82 cents so i know i made some profit this was a cool flip, this Cleveland Wrecking Game. I picked this up at a church rummage sale, paid a quarter for it, and I sold it for $40 plus shipping. So this shipment had three items I paid a quarter for, uh, the pit game, the hat, and this game. Uh, only paid a quarter for them, made some great profit, 75 cents into all those items. Now I just need to find a box that this fits in. And I'm starting the morning grind inside of a Goodwill. Looking on these shelves, not seeing a whole lot yet. Got my cart, ready to find stuff. See the first item I can make some money on. These Gillette razor blades. 99 cents is all, I looked them up. Look like they are selling for around $20, which is pretty good. Pretty good flip, they're gonna ship very light. I have found blades in the past that go with certain razors that are rare. People are looking for the blades, they'll pay $50, $60 for a little set like that. You just never know. Gotta look them up. Got some jugs up there. They're not old. You can see they got UPC tags hanging on there. Got some old Uno sheets though. Uh, no, no, none in there though. <laughs> so I guess we don't have those. Camera, Vivitar, uh, not worth picking up. There's the case. Just looking around, seeing if we can see anything. Um, got some hair curlers. Don't want those. Scanner, that scanner's been there. It's just like an off-brand. Some scanners, though, are great, especially if you're selling on Amazon. Used scanners can go to $300. Certain basic ones like Canon, HP. Uh, yeah, so look for those. Bunch of random stuff. Not sure if I found anything in the random miscellaneous aisle today. Got, what is that? I think that's a salad spinner, maybe. Some of those salad spinners actually are money. I forget the brand, it starts with a Z. It's like Z-Y-I-S-S -S or something like that. Uh, some of those sell for about $30, so maybe you could find those for a dollar or two at the thrift store. Toys, little bear. Uh, we got a Dyson vacuum down there, I see. I don't remember if I looked that up. I know I meant to when I was done recording. 
Uh, I don't think it was really worth picking up. You, they were probably like 20 or $30 at the store anyway. Originally, not like a $500 real Dyson vacuum, right? Well, we got stuff to look at, that's for sure. Um, this I see, and I'm like, what is this? This is familiar. I use Google Lens on it, and turns out it's from Spawn. And I ended up picking it up for $1.99. It looks like it's worth, you know, somewhere around $18, $20. So I like to pick up little figures like that when I see them. We got some porcelain dolls. I see those all the time. Very few are worth your time. Uh, I usually just glance over them. I probably pass a few. I'm not going to scan each porcelain doll. Some Goodwills, they have like 40 or 50 of those things. It's madness. I got a pink, what is that, dolphin. Uh, just digging around. That's what you got to do. I found so much money hidden on shelves like this just by moving a few items. And uh, like I've been mentioning, I always take a second or third pass through even, especially through the toys and aisles like this where there's so much to see. And I almost always find something. It's just kind of crazy. However, this is all I ended up finding. I found a Radica game, but right here, I found something amazing. A Wii in a box for $9.99, a Wii set. I was talking to someone I know there and I had my hand on the box. I looked down and there's a Wii in there. So I like threw that in the cart. I said, I can't believe it. it's a Wii. Uh, I take it over here in this dark corner and I'm like, ooh, let's see what we got in here. Any games? It's uh, a Wii, it's dirty. Like, ooh, Wii Sports, Wii Resort. Wii Sports is what, like a $40 game right now? Re Wii Resort, I just sold. I think I got like $35 for it. Got some controllers in there. I guess the Wick thumbs up. I'm just happy to see that. I also find this spider pullover, which is very nice. These things sell great. I've been coming across a couple of them, but I think I buy that one for me mostly. Um, my size. Next, Goodwill. We're in the toys again, trying to find anything that we can flip. And there's some interesting stuff here. Like this, what is it? GM Honda little fire truck, Hobart fire truck. $9.99, I looked it up, you know, one sold for 20 they weren't moving very well, uh, I just ended up passing on that, didn't want to spend $10, maybe would have picked it up for 2 or $3, let it sit until someone wanted to buy it for $20. Uh, down here I see something though, <laughs> something amazing, a MindFlex Duel, and I just flipped one of these on Amazon, I sold it for $130, picked one up recently at a Goodwill, uh, there's another one, so... That one was $7.99. Of course, I'm picking it up. Should make some good money on that. Price may come down a little since Christmas is ending, but you know what? Uh, they'll still sell. Still be able to make some money on them. Uh, if the parts aren't there, I have some parts. And you can sell the parts for money. The parts sell pretty well. So, didn't see anything else there, I don't think. Uh, actually, I picked up another game I remember now. Uh, doing a little bit of digging uh, after I was done recording some footage here. Not seeing much of anything on this side. Just some tumblers and mugs. Same kind of stuff you see in every thrift store. Um, yeah, so let me show you what I got in this cart. Oh, I did pick up these Iron Age Steel Toad Sandals. I got one of those bookshelf games. Uh, Pick that up because those are worth money. Got a baseball glove here. This was just a little bit too bad of shape for me to want to pick up and sell. This storm rack, though, uh, saw one so sold for $60. It's something you put on top of your car to haul a kayak. I actually have something similar I used to haul mine, uh, but they just weren't moving, and some of them were listed for 20 bucks pre owned like that. So if those aren't selling, you know, I might as well leave those. There's Donkey, um, looked him up, comps weren't the greatest. At max, $20, some were selling for like $12, $15. I just ended up passing on it because that one wasn't in great shape anyway. Pound Puppy, not an original, looks like a remake, tag was newer. Uh, Pound Puppies don't sell for that much anyway, even the vintage stuff that I can remember anyway. I found some of the smaller ones. Some Fisher-Price Dinosaur there. 
a lot of the toys I've mentioned aren't worth buying like that uh, by themselves unless they have the figures so I usually pass out on there kind of expensive to ship a lot of people won't, won't pay for the shipping got a Barbie little what is that a beetle a little car there $2.99 I looked it up it was from 2013 though it wasn't worth anything looking at the small appliances here got a food processor I think that's the one I've looked at before <laughs> Uh, there's been one here i keep looking at it's like is this the same one I, I probably should check that i did it's not worth picking up duck dynasty duck up there i don't even know what that was this uh robot now i picked up one larger than this there's a larger version i sold without the remote for like a hundred bucks this one you might be able to make a little bit of money it was very beat up but i ended up passing it didn't have the remote the remote's where the money is but a new cart come out so of course i'm going over to it there's already a woman there though she's beat me to it i've lost everything uh but i'm not seeing a whole lot there's new balance shoes she has in her hand she, she put back almost got them they're more of a basic pair uh boots down here uh, i don't remember what those were exactly i can't really see in the preview footage here but here he comes out with another cart right behind me and I'm like, oh boy, this one's mine. What do we got? I see these Kohler items, like Kohler's big money. So I noticed their toilet seats and I see they're $20 a piece. I'm like, that's eh, kind of high. But after I looked them up, I said, whoa, this is gonna be one of the biggest flips of the year, if not the biggest flip of the year. I was shocked, you just never know. So of course I grabbed them all. And um, I'm gonna go over everything I picked up today, including these toilet seats, let you know. Been saying this a lot in the hauls recently. This could be one of the most valued, highest profit hauls I've had. It just depends what I get for some of this stuff, but some amazing finds. Start back here with the Nintendo Wii. This is magical because you don't find this stuff in Goodwill anymore. They ship a lot of this video game stuff to be sold online, which is just ridiculous. The problem with buying stuff from Shop Goodwill or Goodwill Online Whatever it's called at this point is none of the stuff's tested. You don't know if it works. Shipping is high. There's just no reason to buy this stuff on Shop Goodwill when you can buy it on eBay where it's more protected. There's no returns on Shop Goodwill. But anyway, before I get on that rant, let's just take a look at this beauty. It's just a wee, but it was $10. It was at Goodwill. I've picked up about seven or eight of these at yard sales this past year. But just seeing it in Goodwill just makes it more special. You got Wii Sports, which I think the last one of these I sold was about $40, $50 maybe used at this point. Uh, Wii Sports Resort, I just shipped one of those out. I think I got $35 for it. The Wii, this one has the GameCube connector ports, which is a bit more valuable. Wii Motion Plus inside, the controllers are good. Um, it's actually a very dirty unit. It's got a lot of dirt on it. But this controller right here is actually very clean. That's one of the more valuable ones. I should be able to sell that on Amazon for about $40. I think on eBay, it maybe sells for $25, $30. Get more on Amazon, of course. The others are Nyko. Off-brand, I really don't know what they're worth. You see the wrestling game? I thought for sure it was going to be inside the unit. It wasn't. Uh, just the paperwork. What's even more interesting is this Lasco remote was in there for a tower fan. I'll be able to sell this for about $20. It's looking like... So that right there is going to pay for the Wii. Then, of course, I'll probably part all of this out, and it's just going to be some great profit. Salvation Army for 99 cents. I picked up this Star Wars set. Never been opened. Looks like it's selling for about 25 new on Amazon. Uh, did pay a dollar for that. So the box is a little beat up, but you know what? I'll still be able to price this 2 or $3 lower than the new price, and it will sell. I do it all the time with Legos. So nice little pickup there. I have this Pocket Solitaire Radica game in very good condition. These sell used on Amazon. You know, I've talked about them before. They sell for about $30 to $40. Just depends on how many's currently on Amazon. Uh, we got a Spawn figure, I believe it is. I did Google Lens on it. It looks like it's about a $15, $20 figure for $1.99. I just picked it up. I'll probably throw it with all my other loose figures that I'm just holding on to for a while. Uh, I got these razor blades these are selling for twenty dollars so for 99 cents is what i paid i will pick them up and flip them old memories with this quiddler game i picked these up at meyer one year uh, i think i paid like a dollar for them on clearance got about 30 or 40 and over that christmas period they went up way up in price uh they were selling for like 30 dollars uh, i ended up making a lot of money on those so this one dollar 99 i ended up picking up 
because I'll make a little bit of money on it. It's like on Amazon. I think they sell for about 20 right now. I ended up getting quite a few things at Salvation Army. I don't even know if I recorded any footage of Salvation Army. Uh, but I got this Thomas the Friends Adventures. Could not find this exact one. It is new. Paid $2.99 for it. There is some in the UK that sold for about 30 bucks. You know what? Since this is seemingly rare, um, I'm just going to put it on for $30 to see if it sells since I couldn't find this exact one. More often than not, when I do that, this, the thing sells for what I think it's going to sell for. Back here, I got some Imaginex figures. $2.99 at Goodwill. Of course, if you follow the videos, last year I picked up three huge bags at Goodwill of these things. I paid $5 a bag. I made hundreds of dollars, around the $400 I think in the end. Had some really rare ones in there. Uh, I don't know, these are pretty common except for the Black Panther. This is a Hasbro Heroes figure actually, or Play School Heroes, whatever it's called. I think it's about a $20 one, close to $20. Uh, the rest will just do a lot. I, mean, I should make at least $20, $25 on that bag there. Some good book deals in Salvation Army. This is a very minty Harry Potter um, Half-Blood Prince book. Went and picked that up. Of course, I lot those together when I get a full set. Uh, what was I selling them for? Maybe someone remembers. It seems like I was getting $80. $95 for the last couple I sold. But this book set is absolutely crazy. It was just put in with the books. It was only a dollar. They didn't even mark it up. It is some Wheel of Time books. They are sealed. You can see there. And Wheel of Time's kind of valuable right now just because they released the TV series. Anytime they release a TV series or a movie based on a book set, Always look for the original books because they go up in value. It just recently happened because of the Doom movie. The new Doom movie was released and uh, the old books, they just went up pretty high on eBay. Now this thing on Amazon, new sealed, you're looking at $258, I think it was. I know some of you are already typing in the comment box, this guy's crazy, there's no way he's gonna get $258. You know it's possible, I don't, but I've sold so many book sets like this. Just recently sold a Bible uh, just a fire Bible. It was $150, $160 I got for it. Paid a quarter for it at a rummage sale. I've sold so many books like that in the past. So there's a very high chance I get about $250 for this for paying a dollar. Um, I'll definitely keep you guys updated. You just never know with this kind of stuff. They have a great rank. The, the TV series is out. People are looking for this stuff. I'm going to price it high. I picked up this 20 book set of I Survived. Books for kids. Salvation Army had it priced at $24.99. It was half off, so I paid half of that. Looked up the comps on eBay. I was kind of surprised. It looked like a set of these sold for about $150. Unfortunately, this set was not on Amazon. But some of the other ones look like $80, $90, some $75. So definitely going to make money on these. We got this Stratego game. These bookshelf games, some of them are pretty good. I think this was selling for about $50. $55 pre-owned on Amazon. Paid $3.99 for it at a Goodwill. Right here, I got this spider zip up and it's kind of funny. I recently picked up a spider at this Goodwill. I say recently, it's about three weeks ago now. I had the same kind of like pet hair on it. So I don't know, they must have really lagged putting out new clothing. So I assume this came from the same donator. Anyway, this is a large. I might keep it for myself. These things do very well pre-owned. They have a great sell-through rate. Uh, I should be able to sell this between $20, $30. I paid like $4.50 for it. Right here, I got this MindFlex Duel. I recently picked up one of these at the Goodwill as well. In fact, I think I sold it yesterday or the day before on Amazon for $130. Paid $7.99 for it. So if all the pieces are there, um, I'll be able to flip it. And you know what? I have a box that has loose pieces. Um, I bought it. It wasn't complete. So chances are I'll be able to complete it even if this is missing a piece. I actually opened it up. Since I've had to put it together and test it to sell it and stuff, I know what to look for. So it looked pretty complete in there to me. Oddly enough, this is going to be one of my better finds of the year, I think. These Kohler toilet seats just come out on a cart. And I looked them up. I thought, you know what? Maybe I can sell these for $60 because I've sold Kohler seats before for around that price new. But these seem to be a little special. Now I couldn't find comps on this exact one, but I did find comps on the version of this that has the chrome hinges, not the brass. These have the brass. And they were selling for about $300 a piece. Now I can't see the value being that much lower just for having brass hinges. They go to a toilet. I forget the, the model of the toilet right now. Must be a very high-end toilet. They're gray, so that's kind of a rare color. 
I looked on Google to see if any like plumbing store had these in stock. They were sold out everywhere and one store had zero in stock and they still had the price at $250. There was another, this is Thunder Gray, another seller was selling some similar toilet seats for another high-end toilet and they were selling them for $250 plus shipping. But because of all that and because of how rare these are, I'm gonna go ahead and price these at $250 plus shipping. Kohler is a very high-end brand. This stuff, again, I don't know how well it's gonna do because it's just not comps or information. But again, I've been in these scenarios where I have stuff like this and it always ends up moving for a high, great price. I expect to make $200 a piece on these in the end. So right there, you're looking at potentially $1,000 in toilet seats. And of course, all my prices are estimates, but I also do videos where I go over things that actually sold and how much I expect to make. I always try to estimate lower, try to be as honest with my predictions as possible. I don't want to forget about this. This is a um, 1847 Roger Brothers serving tray. Um, unfortunately, not sterling. You can tell if they're sterling, they'll say sterling on them or have 0.925 uh, for silver. This is silver plate. I believe this one's not that old either. I think it's more 1950s. It's got some wear on it. I know people can clean those up. I think they use baking soda. Um, maybe vinegar of some sort, something like that to clean them up. I'm probably not going to take the time to do that. This is that Salvation Army for $14.99. Uh, it's half off, so I just went and picked it up. Decided I'd go ahead and try it. I saw some of these. Look like they're selling $80 to $100. They're in much better condition though, so I honestly don't know how well this is going to do. You know, I think in the end I'll make at least $20, $25 on it. Got a lot of stuff to go over. Jeez, Hunter Just Right Thermostat on Amazon. There's no one selling it right now. Again, it's one of those things, I'm going to price high, it's going to sell. I've had probably a dozen scenarios where I found sealed Hunter thermostats and put them on Amazon where there was no one currently selling them. Priced them like $50, $60 and they sell right away. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do with this one. You see, I paid $4.99 for it. I also picked up these Star Trek figures at Salvation Army, a dollar a piece. And these are Diamond Selects, I think from 2007. I'll probably lot these two together and sell them for $20, $25. It looks like is what I can get for those. Got some good shoe deals here. Let's start with these Hoka shoes. Um, I just shipped out a pair a couple days ago. Got it at Salvation Army, or Goodwill rather. I paid $5 for them. I sold them for 70 plus shipping. These are... Physically in great condition, but they have a layer of dirt, some pretty deep dirt uh, tag. You can't really see in this camera. Uh, very clean. Insoles are clean. Uh, it's going to be a bit of work, but that's okay because I should be able to sell these depending on how clean they get. Again, for close to $70 possibly. Got some of these dry joys. Some of these are good. I paid $6.99 for them. I looked them up and you know what? It looked like they were selling $35, $40 for a pair of them. So I grabbed those. And then right here, I picked up these Iron Age steel-toed kind of like sandals. Iron Age makes some pretty desirable like steel-toed work boots and stuff like that. $4.99, I figured I'd give them a shot. I don't think I've ever bought or sold any before. I don't know how desirable they'll be, but you know, I'll probably price them about $30, see if I can get a sale on them. I'll throw a total on the screen on how much I expect to make on all these shoes when they sell. And then I picked up this Sony... DVD player, portable DVD player, no remote, but I have remotes that work with these. $4.99, uh, I think it was selling for about $40 without the remote, like $50 with the remote, I don't remember exactly. For $4.99, I'm going to make money on it. But there it is, everybody, that's the haul for today. Those toilet seats were a great find. Adding all this up, it's going to be a very good haul. Seems like in one of my videos, I had one that was about $1,600 and something. Maybe this one's higher than $1,600. I don't know. The toilet seats, these books and stuff like that just add up so fast. But do me a favor. Before you leave, hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Ring the bell. Share the video. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Until next time.